Alright, hello everyone and welcome to another beautiful sunny day here in North Iceland and today we're gonna go and drive to Geosi which are these geothermal pools located in town Husavik here in North Iceland and I might be wrong about that but I think they are the only facility with a geothermally heated ocean water and so that's pretty cool it's super relaxing and they also got these beautiful infinity pools with the view over the whole fjord and it's just the perfect place like let's say if you go away watching in Husavik and you just want to warm up after your trip or maybe at the end of your day you just want to jump into the water and watch northern lights so it's pretty cool for that too it's about two hour drive from where i live and so let's jump to the car and i'll see you there So this is it, no not the lighthouse but right next to it on the right side. You can actually see it better on this drone shot here. The whole building is built on this cliff and blends perfectly into the local landscape and if you wouldn't know it's there you would never notice it. We arrived around noon on Monday when baths opened and I think the opening hours might be actually different depending on the season. And to our surprise it was mostly empty which of course was really nice. We left our car on the free parking lot that's in front of it and headed towards the entrance which gives you the feeling like entering some sort of bunker, which is very interesting. I didn't feel much inside, but you can find a reception there, as well as the seating area overlooking the pools through these large windows. And now let's skip ahead the changing rooms and the showers and head straight into the pools. First thing I want to mention is the water. The thing is that there are no added chemicals like you would normally have in public pools and it's really just the warm ocean water and so that is perfect for anyone who for example has some sort of skin problems. The pool itself is divided into three parts with the temperatures between 38 and 39 degrees celsius. However when we went there it was really windy and so what we noticed is that warmest water was actually by the entrance to the pools and in the small bar pool which was also nicely sheltered from the wind and when you can refresh yourself with some drinks. The weather is amazing. The views are even better. And we are now sitting at the the bar pool, which is probably the warmest one. And this one right here, with the corner, and there's also one over there, which is a little bit warmer, but it's almost the same. It's pretty windy today, so this is this is very cozy up here. What, what time is it now? It's around two o'clock. And there is not many people here, so I think this is the Probably the best time to come, but the earlier the better. Because when we were the last time, it was, it was kind of crowded. So it was late in the day. It, yeah, it didn't have such a nice vibe. It is now. Okay, it's just like half, half empty, and you have a few people sitting out here. Speaking of refreshing, there is one thing that I truly hope that they will add in the future. Even though there is an outside shower, there is no cold plunge like you can find in all Icelandic pools. And so it can get little too warm sometimes. They also have a nice steam sauna there too. And so I think that the cold plunge is the last missing piece. So GOC team, if you are watching, please add a cold plunge. And to be honest, I don't really have anything negative I would wanna point out. It is a very relaxing place with good vibes and breathtaking views. The whole building is beautifully designed, cleaned and well maintained. And I'm sure it can get busy towards evening hours when people are returning from their travels, but that's something you would probably encounter everywhere. And one tip I'll give you is bring sunglasses and if it's cold and windy, some head cover might come handy as well. So thank you GOC for having us and we'll definitely see you again in the future. <laughs> <laughs> 